Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades back with another weekly video. And in this video, we'll start off with uh, indices as usual. So let's take a look at SPY and QQQ. Um, so SPY is still holding its uptrend really, really well. Um, take a look at the weekly chart. So yeah, on the weekly chart, the trend is still holding. Uh, everything looks good. This week, we did end up closing a little bit red, but overall, still a very very strong um, uptrend and uh you know we've been up for one two three four five six seven eight all right this uptrend's been right that we have been in an uptrend for nine weeks now and then we also had a previous uptrend for quite some time and then had a couple weeks of consolidation and then another strong breakout right so i think i think very good chance that uh the chances of uh, seeing a pullback are very likely here especially if we start to lose this uh, trend line here. So I am watching out for that. Um, so yeah, if we lose that trend line, I think there's a very good chance that we could go all the way back down to 500 and then potentially even gap fill and uh, hit that 497 level, right? So that is something that I'm watching out for. Let's take a look at QQQ. So QQQ, same thing. Um, let me try the trend line. something like this um qqq's trend line is not as clean as spy's but same idea right um if we lose this trend line then there's a very good chance that we could pull back in more and on qqq we did have a pretty ugly reversal on friday um with an increase in volume right so that's not a great sign but i think there's a very good chance that we'll pull back to 433 at least and then potentially get the, all the way down to 425 but we'll see what happens. Um, I think there is a chance that we are going to have a short-term pullback. But I think long-term, we are in a very, very strong bull market. So wouldn't get too bearish. I think, uh, if anything, this is just going to be a normal correction. And then we're going to continue higher. But um, it doesn't matter what I think or what anyone thinks, right? You have to take it day by day and adapt to market conditions as they are continually changing, right? Um, but yeah. Now let's take a look at the big cap tech names. Um, start off with Apple. Apple looks ugly here. Um, looks like it wants to retest that 168 level. So we'll see what happens. But Apple doesn't look too great here. It did also gap fill on Friday. So yeah, Apple doesn't really look great at all. And I think it wants to go lower here. AMD, AMD had a very, very ugly reversal on Friday, and this one looks very extended now, and I think there's a good chance that it's going to pull back in, and it could potentially fill this gap as well. Um, next up, let's take a look at Google. So Google has been pretty sloppy this year. Uh, did try to get a nice bounce this week, but not the best uh, close on Friday, and uh, I think... For now, we're just going to be stuck in this chop again for quite some time. So until we break that 139 level, I wouldn't get bullish on Google. And until we drop the, uh, or until we lose that 126 level, I wouldn't get too bearish. Um, next up, let's take a look at Meta. So Meta is still acting really, really well. It's just basically uptrending. Um, had a nice few weeks of consolidation and then it's started to form a new uptrend. So Meta overall looks really, really good. Um, yeah, not much else to say for Meta. It's just been acting incredibly well. Microsoft. Microsoft's also acting pretty well. Uh, hasn't seen too much of a pullback. It's pretty much just starting to uh, go sideways here. So that's pretty good action considering the run it's had in the last year or so. So overall, Microsoft is acting pretty well. Had a nice run here and then consolidated and now had another nice one and now it's consolidating again so overall microsoft looks pretty healthy netflix netflix also acting pretty well it's, it's pretty much just uh forming some sort of like bull flag here uh netflix also trending very very nicely i'd, I'd say this is how i would draw the uptrend uh, but yeah netflix also similar to meta had the big cap up and then it's just been slowly grinding higher not the same thing big up up and slowly grinding higher um nvidia had a pretty nasty reversal on friday and big increase in volume so this definitely looks very very extended and i think we're gonna pull back 
a lot more, and I think there's a very good chance that we'll see this gap fill, and then um, yeah, we'll see from there. But I think Nvidia is ready for a bigger pullback now. And let's also take a look at um, Tesla. So Tesla looks really, really weak here. Um, it looks like so it had a big move down and then formed a bear flag over here, right? Formed a little bear flag and now it's following through to the downside. So I think Tesla looks like it wants to make a move all the way down to uh, 159 level. So yeah, I would say definitely avoid Tesla. It looks really, really weak. Um, but yeah. And we'll take a look at growth name, so ARKK. So ARKK is acting pretty well. Uh, it's pretty much just flagging here, right? Um, it looks like it really wants to take out that 52.5 level. And if it can do that, then there's a very good chance that we'll see a good rally. But until then, I wouldn't get too bullish. Um, yeah, we really need to see that 52.5 level break. And if we can do that, then we look pretty good. But yeah, overall, it's been acting well. It's been uh, going sideways for quite some time. So uh, overall, good action from ARKK. IWM, same thing. Um, it's been acting well. It's starting to uptrend here, right? And on the weekly chart, we are breaking this big base. And we're moving higher to that 213 level. So we'll see what happens. But small caps are definitely starting to act a little bit better, at least. Now let's take a look at some individual names that look good for next week. Um, start off with Kava. So Kava is a new IPO name. Um, it IPO'd last year, so not that new, but still a relatively new name. This one formed a really nice base here, and that formed a nice bull flag here, and then it broke out last week. So this one was a really good setup, and still looks really, really good. Um, so this one's definitely a top watch for the coming weeks. Coin continues to act really, really well. This one had a really nice bull flag setup and broke out. Uh, I mentioned this one last week as well. This one's a top watch and it had a really, really nice move off that. Next up, Hims. So this one, this one got on my radar because look at that volume, right? That's insane volume. Um, when you see volume like that, that's a sign that institutions are loading up into the stock. And uh, I think that's exactly what happened. So Hims formed a really nice flag here and then on Monday broke out very strong bar and that's pretty much flagging again now here so we'll see what happens but this stock is incredibly strong and should definitely be on everyone's watch list um, hood hood has been acting really really well uh, this one had a strong breakout out of its base and ever since then it's just been slowly grinding higher and higher and it's starting to form another er, it did form another flag last week not the best flag, but pretty much broke out of that 16.5 resistance level. And uh, yeah, it's acting well so far. But more um, sideways action from this name could be good. Um, but yeah, overall, Hood is definitely one that you want to watch. Um, it's also, they also do have a crypto holding, so yeah. Uh, Lyft. Lyft is another one that had a very, very strong breakout, huge volume. Um, and it's trying to break out of this base, so this looks really, really good. Um, so yeah, Lyft had a nice bull flag forming, and then it broke out on Wednesday, and now it's starting to form another flag here, so Lyft is definitely a top watch here. Uh, looks really, really good. I really like the volume. Um, but yeah. And then we'll also take a look at Monster. So Monster, this name is way, way too extended now, but this one had such a nice rally off that. 700 or this setup right it was at 700 dollars so it pretty much doubled in such a short period of time so this one's way too extended now but this is definitely a name that you should be paying attention to and uh yeah looks very 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 strong Let's also take a look at palantir uh palantir has been acting well ever since that strong earnings gap up it's just been slow grinding higher pretty much like formed the flag here, failed, and then uh, it finally broke that 25.5 level on increase in volume, so really good action there. And now it's just starting to form a flag here, so um, some more consolidation from this name could be good. And then SG, this is a name that not many people are talking about, but should definitely be on your radar. Really big earnings help up, 
really big volume, right? This one's just been acting incredibly well ever since. Uh, it's been slow grinding higher and higher. And yeah, this is definitely another top watch. And uh, it's actually forming a little flag right now. And <clears throat> SMCI, this is everyone's favorite stock. Um, SMCI looks like has some resistance at that one six. Yeah, one. Let me just draw. So it has resistance around that one fifty eight level. So if it can take that out, it looks good. But on the weekly, it does look uh, a little bit stretched. But yeah, uh, the stock has a lot of potential, a lot of power in it. So. Um, right now, I definitely wouldn't buy because it looks a little bit too stretched, but this is definitely another aim to definitely keep an eye on. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this week. Um, I think the key thing for next week is to make sure that you're not buying extended names, and I think the market looks like it does want to pull back, so uh, you really want to be careful and be very selective with the names you're buying, and uh, also want to look to the downside for any plays. Um, I think Tesla looks like a very good short setup. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this week. And if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one mentoring, um, feel free to DM me on Discord. But yeah, that's all I have. Um, and have a good, have a great weekend. Thank you. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with a trading mentor today, completely free of charge.